Dr. Sarno's books are great, but they don't include an actual treatment protocol for curing tension myositis syndrome. For that, you had to see Dr. Sarno in New York. However, he did give us his 12 daily reminders in two of his books to help people cure TMS on their own. These are 12 guidelines that can be really helpful while you're going through the healing process. Now there's some confusion about what the good doctor actually meant with his reminders, and that misunderstanding ends up sending some people in the wrong direction. But there's a lot of great insight in Sarno's reminders. And so in this episode, I'm going to share my additional perspective and how you can use these 12 reminders to their fullest. Let's discuss. Hello, it's Laura Thornton, and if you're new to our channel, then welcome to the Pain Cure Clinic, where our goal is not endless treatment, but a direct and effective method for curing chronic pain, so you can take back your freedom and move on with your life. I did it, and so can you. Now, before we dive in, I want to offer you our free workshop for curing TMS, whether it's back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain, hip pain, irritable bowel syndrome, or any other chronic condition you may be struggling with. The workshop is the same process that I use to cure my supposed rheumatoid arthritis. And if you follow through, you could see your chronic pain reduce in as little as a few weeks. Check it out at paincureclinic.us backslash free workshop. And there's also a link below. Okay, now let's jump right into Sarno's 12 daily reminders for TMS from my TMS coaching perspective. Starting with reminder number one, the pain is due to TMS, not to structural abnormalities, or I would add a disease process. Dr. Sano proved this by reviewing diagnostic tests like MRIs and consulting with thousands of patients. The reality is that a bulging disc in your back or a rotator cuff tear in your shoulder is likely not the source of your chronic pain. And there are many clinical studies to back up Dr. Sarno. We cite these studies in an important lesson in our Sarno Masterclass. Reminder number two, the direct reason for the pain is mild oxygen deprivation. So we found that this concept can be a bit of a sticking point for some TMS sufferers. They get the idea, understandably, that you can somehow just infuse oxygen back into the muscles and other soft tissue, and that solves the problem. First of all, there is no effective oxygen infusing medical treatment that we're aware of. And secondly, this wouldn't solve the underlying problem. Remember, prolonged stress ignites the fight or flight response. And one of the things that happens is that your muscles contract to prepare you physically to fight or flee. Even when the stress trigger is just an angry text or an argument with your sister, your body still perceives a threat and reacts accordingly. So just thinking logically, as we always encourage you to do, the oxygen is squeezed out of contracted muscles, causing pain and sometimes other symptoms. But the solution is not to somehow work on restoring the oxygen directly. Rather, it's to identify and work on resolving the root emotional cause of your tension. Reminder number three, TMS is a harmless condition caused by repressed emotions. Even so, your pain is real. And it's annoying, frustrating, and for some of you, downright debilitating right now. But rejoice in the fact that you are not forever broken. Dr. Sarno assures us that TMS is harmless and temporary if you change your belief about your diagnosis. So assuming that you've already been down the medical road, which many of you likely have, change your focus. Work on identifying your primary sources of stress. And now that you know that TMS is harmless, you can immediately start letting go of your tension about the pain or other chronic symptoms because you truly have nothing to fear. Reminder number four, the principal emotion is repressed anger. Now, while all negative emotions can trigger the stress response, fight or flight, but I referenced in daily reminder number two, we agree with Dr. Sarno that repressed anger is often the biggest culprit. And this is likely because anger is often perceived as the most 
unacceptable emotion by modern society standards. So there's a tendency to tamp it down, to keep it hidden, where it festers and wreaks havoc in your body. Sound familiar? Now, of course, there's a difference between overreacting to every little thing, what we typically call having a short fuse, and justified healthy anger. For TMSers who lean toward keeping the peace and wanting everyone to be happy, it's typically not out of control anger that's the problem, but repressing it. Anger started coming up so frequently with our coaching clients that we did a video about it. If you'd like more help with this issue, after you finish watching this video, just search the Pain Care Clinic YouTube channel for repressed anger. Reminder number five, TMS exists only to distract my attention from the emotions. According to Dr. Sarno, TMS feeds on your negative emotions and uses physical symptoms to keep your attention away from acknowledging and dealing with these emotions. And one way you can change this is to think of chronic pain as a message. Your physical symptoms are telling you that something is amiss, very often something in your life. We also recommend that our coaching clients find positive distractions to break the TMS grip, activities that interest you, are productive, and bring you joy. Reminder number six, since my back, neck, shoulder, knee, hip, stomach, etc., is basically normal, there is nothing to fear. This reminder really just combines and restates reminder number one, that pain is due to TMS, not to structural abnormalities, and reminder number three, TMS is a harmless condition caused by repressed emotions. And Dr. Sonu did this because he was a smart cookie and he knew from practical experience working with patients that he could not emphasize this enough and neither can I. When you start having doubts, I want you to remember this. If we recruited, say, 10 random people in the 40 to 60 age range from a city street and gave each of them an MRI, it's likely that nearly all of them would show some kind of structural change just due to normal aging. And yet maybe as few as five of them would report having chronic pain. This is what Dr. Sarno started seeing where he worked as a professor of rehabilitation medicine at New York University School of Medicine. This is how and why he developed the harmless tension myositis syndrome diagnosis. Reminder number seven, therefore, physical activity is not dangerous. My friends, reminder number seven is so, so critical. And I love how Dr. Sarno ties in the other reminders by saying, therefore, as in your chronic pain is not caused by a structural abnormality. TMS is harmless and you have nothing to fear. Therefore, physical activity is not dangerous. And we know that this is commonly in direct opposition to what you've been told by well-meaning but misguided doctors, physical therapists, and other medical professionals. And Dr. Sarno doesn't stop there because in reminder number eight, he goes on to say, and I must resume all physical activity. Wow. So this is yet another Sarno building block that makes complete sense. TMS is harmless. Therefore, physical activity is not dangerous. Hallelujah. And I must resume all physical activity. And guess what? Dr. Sarno adds to this on page 79 of his book, Healing Back Pain. And I quote, perhaps the most important but most difficult thing that patients must do is to resume all physical activity, including the most vigorous. Now, I understand that some of you may need to take baby steps back toward your full physicality, but folks, this is fantastic news. And the sooner you start moving your body again or moving it more, the faster you can get past your chronic symptoms for good. We've seen it happen with our students over and over again. Reminder number nine, I will not be concerned or intimidated by the pain. And if you've really listened to and believe the first eight reminders, then it's much easier to pull the power plug, that hold that your chronic conditions have on you. Degenerative disc disease or fibromyalgia or irritable bowel syndrome and many, many other chronic maladies are not your identity and are not a life sentence. So yep, you can take a breath and drop that bag of rocks you've been carrying. 
One of the first things that we often hear from my new pain care clinic client is something along these lines. You know, I just started the program and I'm still working on reducing my stress and pain, but I'm no longer concerned about or fearful of my symptoms, meaning my physical condition no longer defines me or claims all of my attention. Bingo. And speaking of attention, we're on the home stretch and up to reminder number 10. I will shift my attention from the pain to emotional issues. This is key because this is the point where you stop just managing or coping with your physical symptoms and turn your attention to your mind, your emotions, and your tension level to identify your primary stressors and where they're coming from. I'm talking about summoning your courage and taking a hard look at your life circumstances, especially things you may be resisting and even your personality. Reminder number 11, I intend to be in control, not my subconscious mind. It's eye-opening to realize that at its core, beating TMS is indeed a battle between, well, you and you that you can and must win. When you're deliberately, consistently, and consciously taking the proper recovery action steps, tension myositis syndrome doesn't stand a chance. Good riddance. And last but certainly not least, Dr. Sarno brings it all together with his final umbrella reminder. Reminder number 12, I must think psychological at all times, not physical. And I'm adding, I must think psychological at all times regarding the root cause of my pain or other symptoms. I must look to my mind for the emotional cause of stress that's generating my chronic physical symptoms, for which there is no reasonable medical explanation and or treatment has failed to resolve the issue. But do remember that TMS is a mind-body condition. So thinking psychologically about our symptoms doesn't mean that we don't take good care of our physical bodies, just as any healthy human does, with or without TMS. So what we're doing is keeping the mind-body connection strong. Okay, to wrap up this episode, here's a list of all 12 of Dr. Sarno's daily reminders for your quick reference. And your next step is to pick up that free workshop for curing TMS at paincureclinic.us backslash free workshop. This workshop is a roadmap to get you from where you are now to where you want to be, chronic pain-free. Thanks for spending a bit of extra time to watch this episode. And I hope that my interpretation of Sarno's daily reminders will stick with you and encourage you to keep going and recover. See you next time.